What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix series Elite Season 4. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this new season. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Oh my god, you have no freaking idea how much I love this show. I've been a huge fan since the beginning. And now that some of the original cast members are not coming back, let me tell you, watching these new episodes without them showing up on the screen takes a bit adjustment to. But don't worry, you're in good hands because as always, the writers get the mystery off the ground running and soon enough you'll be like, Carla who? Season 4 is sexier and bolder and more devious and more cunning. And I feel that the drama has a better way of pulling the characters toward one another. By that I mean none of the subplots seem to be going off on their own. This probably would have been a regular mundane school year had it not been for these new kids on the block who practically throw the original kid's stability out of whack. So yes, you're gonna miss some of the faces you won't see anymore. But trust me, everything addictive that you love about this show remains intact. The storytelling does not go downhill at all in season 4, and that's hella good. Created by Dario Madrona and Carlos Montero, Elite is a crime drama thriller set in an exclusive private school in Spain, where the collision between the working class and the wealthy leads to murder. In season 4, a new school year begins at Las Encinas, and with it comes a new principal or a new headmaster. He's one of the most powerful businessmen in all Europe, ready to bring Las Encinas institution, which according to him, has been running amok in the past few years, back on track. He brings his family with him, his three children, three teenagers, who are used to always getting their way and having whatever they want when they want it, no matter who falls and who will jeopardize the union and strong friendship of the veteran students. Once again, a clash of sights, now between the old world, the students and the usual rules, and the new one, the new management and the new classmates will take place. A collision that will end up exploding and causing a tragedy with a victim and the perpetrator whose identity will have to be discovered. You know what? Come to think of it, it's a smart move on their part to mix the casting up. Well, for one, it gives the characters that may not have gotten enough spotlight in the previous seasons an opportunity to actually be on the forefront this time around. Plus, as I was watching these new episodes, I was trying and trying to figure, maybe they could have squeezed Carla in there, or maybe Lou could have interject here. I tried, but I couldn't, because the story in season 4 is written in a way that kinda moves on from them. The story doesn't leave room for those specific people to have an impact. So anyway, these three new kids, Ari, Patrick, and Mencia, and their dad is the new principal, Benjamin. While I am not allowed to get into details about what ensues with them in relation to the others, I can say this, however. The kids are uber wealthy. Of course, why wouldn't they be? The show is called Elite. And secondly, they all have daddy issues. Well, one is more so than the rest. And thirdly, they're all daring enough to drive a wedge between some of the already established relationship amongst the original characters. They are as brazen as they get. I know, I know, you'd probably want me to spill the beans on how the original characters are doing. And even though my lips are sealed about some of them. But I think I'm okay to say that jealousy and envy still play a big role on why some of these relationships are still on shaky grounds. And their so-called solidarity has cracks. The dynamics between Samuel and Guzman in particular always catches my interest. Because they 
both are always in this endless limbo of are they friends or are they not friends? The original characters have gone through a lot and they have history, but that doesn't mean they'll always have each other's backs. There are unexpected twists and turns and surprises along the way because it's not a leap if it doesn't have them. And all the love triangles are juicy, juicy, juicy. And if you thought that the social class division was pretty stark in the previous seasons, well, a certain royalty is gonna make both classes seem minuscule by comparison. As for the mystery itself, I think the writers are doing a much more effective job at making it seem as if everybody has a motive. In the previous seasons, they were not subtle with the line of questioning and the interrogations, whereas this, they kinda just plant it within the storyline and let you pick out the possible suspects by yourself. Oh, and you know how it is. School all day and party every night. Well, wait till you get a load of the parties in this new season. They take it up a notch from showing more skins to straight up lavish elegant. All of them downright seductive. This is one aspect that the show will never run out of ideas for. So congratulations to Elite Season 4 on successfully finding a way to keep itself fresh while not straying too far away from their own formula that works. You are in for a new season that's gonna blow your mind.